Humans, we walk on the ground, we drive on the ground, we're two-dimensional species. We use rows and aisles to access our goods, yet robots don't have those same restrictions. They can move in three dimensions. The Atabotics robot moves in three dimensions. The idea was to build a supply chain of the future. Historically, it was all about moving pallets and case lots to stores, and now it's really about moving directly to the customer. This kind of a solution didn't exist. So we had to rebuild everything. Supply chain is evolving, supply chain is every day changing. That change of thinking and thinking in three dimensions really unlocks a tremendous amount of value for the technology to adapt and fulfill on what these new consumer expectations are. We want to revolutionize the modern supply chain. The inspiration for Atabotics really came from our CEO and, and founder. He was doing advanced manufacturing consulting when he came up with this idea. He was working at a factory and there was a machine that was producing a product and there was a robotic arm that was taking the finished product and putting it away on a shelf. Uh, but unfortunately the shelf was filling up before the machine had completed its cycle. So Scott was looking for a robot that could move a full shelf put it away, grab an empty shelf, and bring it back to the machine so the machine could do a full cycle without any human intervention. So he started researching, looked online, found a robot that moves shelves around, and he phoned them. And the receptionist that answered the phone basically said, sorry, we're no longer accepting orders, we've been acquired, and then hung up the phone on him. But about two weeks later, it became clear Amazon acquired them and removed them from the market. They stopped selling their system to any other competitor. And so Scott, for him, that did two things. One, it validated the business concept of using robots to go grab goods and bring them to the people. But most importantly, it created a vacuum in the market. It created a space to be filled. So he started doing a lot of research in different technologies that were available on the market. And very quickly, he saw a pattern that they were all very human-centric, human-focused. Uh, humans, we walk on the ground, we drive on the ground, we're two-dimensional species. We use rows and aisles uh, to access our goods. Yet robots don't have those same restrictions. They can move in three dimensions. The Atabotics robot moves in three dimensions. So he started looking into the natural world for inspiration, wondering how nature had solved this storage problem. And he wasn't coming up with a lot until he saw a documentary where a scientist poured molten aluminum down a leafcutter ant colony nest, let it harden, and then excavated it. And when they extracted the hardened profile of the nest, he saw that ants, one of the most successful species on the planet, actually burrow vertically down into the ground, and then they build storage chambers off of that vertical access column. So it was this inversion from a two-dimensional row and aisle, a horizontal access, to a vertical access that was kind of the aha moment for Scott. And that sounds like a pretty small innovation, but it actually unlocks a tremendous amount of functionality for the technology. Atabotics has developed a 3D automated storage and retrieval system, so basically a fancy way of saying robots moving stuff around in a warehouse, but we do it in a much smaller footprint and our robots move in three dimensions. If you were to walk around a thousand warehouses around the world, 999 if not a thousand of them would follow a row and aisle footprint. That change of thinking and thinking in three dimensions and being inspired by you know, the bio biomimicry of ants really unlocks a tremendous amount of value for the technology. Right now there's pallet racking, there's shelving, etc. But when you think about it, having a human grab something from 30 feet in the air with a picker truck or a forklift is incredibly different than walking by and grabbing something off of a six foot high shelf. And the ability to have any robot grab any bin in the structure without having to move anything else, but then also bring that to any pick station on the exterior and do so in any order is really where the secret sauce for Atabotics comes in and that's enabled by that geometry. So Atabotics is um, 3D robotics and high density storage automation and retrieval system, allowing our customers to reduce the storage footprint by 85% and at the same time reduces the labor requirement, at the same time reduces the time requirement from order to delivery. The idea was to build a supply chain of the future and especially in our automation fulfillment and that's where uh, we started working on robotics. Early on it was your classic build a robot in your garage type scenario. The focus was really on clearest path and quickest path to market. So it's purchasing items 
online that are already proven and then putting them together in a unique construct to create a 3D mobile robot and proving fundamentally that you could get a robot to travel in three dimensions and pick and put away in four directions. At the same time, they didn't want to rely on conveyor belts or uh, you know traditional mobile robots and that's when we came out with the automation storage and retrieval system which is box automation for us. At the time there was no other company doing 3D robotics. Since then there's been a few what I would call new generation competitors but all very much stuck in the fundamental human-centric perspective of two-dimensional distribution of goods. Our technology has evolved from what we were doing in analytics right now, we are using AI and machine learning. From the data and telemetry side of it, we started using IoT. From the communication side, we, have, we are using 5G. We follow all the industry 4.0 standards. We have a very advanced manufacturing facility. This kind of a solution didn't exist, so we had to rebuild everything, but we were lucky that we had the right kind of a talent. There are already companies which we are partnered with which are able to provide us the solution for IoT, for 5G, for AI machine learning. We are the best applied platform and that's why most of the companies want to work with us and they are seeing a significant growth in terms of not only the kind of solution which we have provided to the client but also those partners have seen the significant growth by partnering with us. Atabotics was pulled into the market very quickly. We're a five-year-old company but by year two, we landed our first pilot contract with a food service company, uh, and then we had a very significant engagement with a luxury retailer. The beginning of 2018, we would have had 30 employees, and at the end of 2020, uh, we would have had just over 200 to give you a sense of how the company scaled. Robotics is a fairly new industry, so we've tapped into a variety of different areas. So we've got folks with electromechanical backgrounds, uh, technologists, technicians, We've also found that people with trades background, uh, electricians, millwrights, bring in skill sets that are applicable as well. We were able to hire a uh, significant talent uh, pool from oil and gas sector and definitely they wanted to work in a very different kind of a technology company like us. So they got the opportunity to work with a, a great product and great technology and we got the opportunity to tap the significant talent. Antibiotics secured its first financing in the form of an angel investment from a local Calgary investor. Didn't have a background in supply chain, didn't have a background in technology, but liked the idea and was willing to take on the risk and he, because he believed in the management team. What came shortly thereafter was Alberta Innovates, which is a government funding agency based in Alberta. Their role is to help early stage companies kind of bridge that gap between proof of concept and a demonstration system. And so the ability to get from a pitch deck and a CAD model to an actual working prototype of a robot isn't easy and could easily outstrip the resources of a typical angel investor. Alberta Invates gave Atabotics $300,000 to help build that first working prototype, which was then leveraged to get the first pilot customer and the first kind of meaningful investment from the market. Manufacturing requires the use of parts and the storage of parts. So at our head office, we actually build our own robots and we use our system to help support that manufacturing process. So in our system, we store all of the robot components uh, for the robots. We then also use it to build kits. And doing an e-com order is very similar to doing a kitting process for manufacturing. You need five, 10, 15, 18 pieces to show up in the same place at the same time in a warehouse so they can either be put in a box or put into a kit. So we pull all of those parts and then we build kits that are designed to, to build different modules of our robot. Then the parts go to individuals who build based on work instructions with a quality embedded into the instructions and they can build the subassembly, test the subassembly and have it ready to go for the next stage. So the bins that we store product in are designed to accommodate a sensor and we're working with a company here in Calgary that has a sensor that in real time can geo-position based off of that sensor in three dimensions down to sub-millimeter accuracy. So at any time you would know where that product was and where it was in relation to a manufacturing operation as an example. A very important significant part of Adabotics is to keep coming out with the solution that fit in to the requirement of the client in terms of supply chain automation. We came out with a network supply chain solution which allows most of the clients to have a micro fulfillment centers across any city. Really when you think about it, supply chain is one of the biggest industries on the planet. It touches multiple verticals. 
So we have plenty of conversations in things like uh, manufacturing, pharmaceuticals, uh, industrial, defense. We aren't limited to a specific type of product profile. Really, if you store enough of it and you want to access it frequently enough and it fits in our bin, then we have a compelling value proposition for the customer. Like supply chain, like warehousing, we feel there's also an application for this three-dimensional use of space uh, in manufacturing. When you add a third dimension, just like what happens in warehousing, all of a sudden now the robots themselves could bring uh, kits or modules to different workstations, but now in a 3D structure to maximize the use of space and bring that product to each work node. But it also creates an environment where it's no longer linear. You now can route through three dimensions and have a lot of flexibility in how you move product uh, through your facility. And likewise, there wouldn't be a single point of failure uh, in the factory where if something goes down, the whole line shuts down. Well, the system is very uh, adaptive, uh, well, scalable first, because you can build it for X number of uh, units, of bins. If you find that you need a larger system, you can add on to it uh, in the X and Y directions, make it a much bigger, go from the size of a football field to the size of two football fields if you need it. We're, we're living through one of the great transformations of supply chain right now. There's a tremendous amount of disruption that is happening as a result of this change in consumer behavior and it's going to require a great deal of retooling in traditional supply chain and a new way of thinking about supply chain and logistics to adapt and fulfill on what these new consumer expectations are. We want to become the best AIoT first applied platform in supply chain. That's our motto and we are continuously working from technology standpoint, from solution standpoint, quality standpoint and also customer satisfaction standpoint. The future of antibiotics, really simply put, is we want to revolutionize the modern supply chain.